So this is just a little demonstration here um, to try and give our members uh, an idea, a wee bit of an insight into what's going on under the greens here, beneath the grass uh, and our greens profile. Um, so before you look at any of this, um, what, what we need to get and what we have, we'll, we'll submit the plans is a good drainage system. At the moment we've got a very inefficient uh, uh, drainage system. It's failing all over the place, you know, it's an old tiled drains that are in the, in the, 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 the water just doesn't reach them and it backs up. So we are going to replace the drainage in the greens over a course of years. But out with that, the soil profile is so important. Um, what you'll see here, you can see maybe what we're down here about seven and a half inches or so. And beyond this, it's just a hard clay bed all the way down to any drainage that's there. Um, in an ideal world, we'd love to change that to a, a, a sandy profile, like a 7 to 30 soil to sand, uh, but that's not feasible. So we're going to just put drainage in it uh, and work with what we've got here. So like I say, hard pan clay, and it's very moist down there, there's next to no roots, as you see. Um, that gets compact and that gives us a lot of problems, but this sandy loam, it's down, what, maybe just four and a half to five inches, that's reasonably good. The guys have done a great job with our top dressing programme over the years, which we are going to actually continue and actually be, we'll, we'll be putting more sand out than we did before. That's pretty good to work with. But um, to get the health that we're looking for on the greens and to get the greens to be able to manage themselves and, and fight off any disease, we need a good root structure. At the moment, there's next to no roots in there, which is quite alarming. You know, there's some root hairs, but what you would expect to see at this time of year is nice white shoots of roots which hold together. You can see how easy that's pulling away there. So that is a problem, and 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 the way to 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 get the roots is well the mo the, the main thing is air. We need to get some air down into that. So when you see us punching holes in the greens, um, and you will see it in the next month or so throughout September, that. Although the, the holes are, 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 are for a drainage purpose, the biggest thing is to get some air space to get the roots to go down. Here's a plug here from the third green that we done last year there. Um, around about November, I think, we punched holes with the vetted drain tines, the three quarter inch tines, and we went down nine inches. You can see here vividly, look, look at the, the roots coming out the bottom of that there. That is, that's what we're after, that's what you're trying to chase. And it's not just the depth that we need the roots, we need it, we need the root mass as well. There's next to nothing in that, that's what's worrying us. And the other ways and means to encourage the roots is to feed the roots. And you'll, you'll hear us pushing a lot of seaweed and phosphates. That's the two main um, ingredients that is going to push the roots and, 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 and encourage them to... They should be a lot whiter and a lot stronger, you know, there's next to nothing there. But the main problem we've got... So what are we now? We are maybe two and a half to three inches we've got our organic matter is really starting to build at this point and that's pretty um, deep for organic matter to be building there is some root hairs there now don't get me wrong but it's not strong enough and it's not um, what, we're, what we're trying to achieve we, we want to get much better than that but if you keep pulling away at it here it doesn't want to rip anymore and that's where we're getting right into the deep organic matter and this is the area that holds all our problems and that is the target when we're doing any any aeration where we're removing thatch, that's what we're looking at. So down what 20, 20 to 30 mil there. So that's quite deep. So when we scarify or we haul core, we're going to be taking cores out of there and exchanging them with sand, just like this. Uh, and, and we're trying to dilute that because that there is what holds all the moisture. And, and not only does it hold the moisture, that's where all the disease and everything that, because everything's backed up and tight and there's no air space, that's what encourages all the disease. So we're going to work away at that over a course of years. There are, at, at the moment, the highest percentage we've got, which is in the 14th green, is 9%. We, in a course of year, we want to get down to at least 5%. That is the target, and it will be tough going, but that's why we're going to have to be quite aggressive in the first few years. But once we're down at 6 and 7, we won't need to be as aggressive because we'll be on target. But that, you can see very vividly, that that's holding all the problems. That's that's what we are trying to aerate and, um, and break up and dilute. I hope that gives you a wee bit of an insight into what we're trying to achieve. All right, thank you.